How you doing, Steve? Uh, okay, Glenn. Uh, I got a call from a girl. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Glenn will be yeah, in. All right. Glenn will be in in a minute. And uh, make it quick, Glenn. All right. Okay, we're talking to Steve, formerly Morning Noise, drummer for Sam Hain. That's right. And uh, how did the tour go? We happy with it? Oh, I'm really good. What do you think was the best show? Uh, Detroit. Detroit was really great. And uh, people were, places place was packed. Mm -hmm. and people were great. But all the shows we did were really good. Mm -hmm. We leave uh, two weeks from tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Where's this tour going to be taking? Um, pretty much the whole United States. Mm -hmm. You know, Midwest, you know, South Texas, Utah, California, all that horse manure stuff. <laughs> okay, now how come uh, you got, you know, local band, you're doing these tours all over the country. How come there hasn't been a New York gig since the first one? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to book us. Uh, I guess. No, I don't know. I don't think there's any place to play in New York. You know. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. the Ritz. We might have a show at the Ritz when we come back. But one never knows. How, one. how long is this tour going to last? This will 30 days. Mm -hmm. 30 days. So, um, you know, hopefully when we get back, you know, we'll do a New York show mm -hmm. somewhere. Now, what was the scene like, say, in Kentucky, Tennessee? Kentucky, kind of um, the really hickish. So uh, it's hold on, Glenn, you get a date? You get a phone number? Uh, I think on blind date. <laughs> Okay. Now, so what were we saying? Uh, Kentucky, people were really hickish, like... Mm -hmm. A lot of skinheads? No. No. No, nothing like that. There's a lot of um, cool people in Kentucky, though. Some of the kids send the um, cow skulls and things like that. <laughs> I mean, a few of those people, mm -hmm. they make it known, hey, remember that cow skull I sent you? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I heard something about, yeah, like, in your... Uh, in your basement in your house, yeah, it's just this room done up on skulls. Yeah, pretty much. That's yeah. the fact. Yeah. Where'd you get these skulls from? People just send them to you? Yeah, you you know, you can trade with people. <laughs> I trade t-shirts and stuff for skulls. Uh, if I see one on the road and have the money, I'll buy it. Or, you know, for a while I would just, you know, be in the van and we'd be driving and I'd go, pull over, pull over, and see a dead animal and I'd take out a hatchet and go take its head off. <laughs> So how, <laughs> throw it in a plastic bag. So how big is your skull collection? Right, that's not the worst. You have to then you have to take it and boil it, mm -hmm. and then you have to take an exacto blade and um, surgically, you know, cut the muscles at the right spot and peel them off like by the tendon and where they connect. And mm -hmm. it smells like Chinese restaurant basically when you're cooking <laughs> up a cat skull or a dog skull. Mm -hmm. it really does. It makes you think. <laughs> if you have any cats you want to get rid of, bring them by the No, 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 no. I don't I don't advocate killing uh, animals. I'd rather advocate killing people and animals. Actually, because people are a lot smarter, you know. <laughs> Not some people. Well, no, that's what I'm okay, saying. Okay, let's get to the point. Just how many skulls do you have in your face? I don't know. I give a lot of weight when we play. Usually I'll wear a skull on my uh, wristband or something, and they're usually gone at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. I used to have a lot. Um, I still have, you know, kind of a lot, but... I remember with the Misfits, Jerry had a skull <coughs> like that. That was rubber. Oh, that was a rubber skull, yeah. the one on the end of the guitar. Yeah. Okay, now, a uh, couple more quick questions. You're playing guitar now live with the band. On oh, Archangel. It's double bass. Um, Damien switches over to bass with Yuri, and they do two different, you know, two basses. Kind of mm -hmm. like Spinal Tap. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I play uh, the guitar, which is over, you know on the record. I played it on the record. Mm -hmm. And when are the kids going to get a chance to see Sam Hain here in New York? Well, we're trying to do a show, you know, somewhere in New York, but it just seems kind of the hardcore tag just sticks, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I was just so kind of expecting a Halloween show. Yeah, we wanted to do it. Um, the guy from Rock Hotel was supposed to put up the money and do the show. We, we found a place for him, the Ukrainian. We were going to rent a stage. So it would be a really good show, Good Lights PA. And he, at the last minute, he just didn't want to do it. He wanted to do metal shows. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so hopefully when we come back from the tour, we'll have a show at the Ritz, maybe. Mm -hmm. And we'll try and keep the ticket price down mm -hmm. because I don't want it to really be over, you know, like seven or eight bucks. That mm -hmm. too much. Okay, a couple quick plugs. The LP is called Initium. It's on right. Plan 9 Records, available at your local specialty stores. And we'll have a new 12-incher. 
in mid-November called Unholy Passion. Okay. Guys, thanks for coming down. No thanks problem. for having us. And Thank you, everybody. And, yeah, uh, right. Thank you, everybody out there. Radio man. Uh, we're gonna listen to one last track. It's another live track from the show out in Kentucky. Halloween two. Oh, you're gonna yep. play it finally. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Halloween two. The first time you'll ever hear. Yeah, this is the first live. time this has ever been played live. Um, is by Sam Haynes because the uh, you know like I told you the other guys really couldn't you know play it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is WNYU FM in New York, the new afternoon show, Halloween two live.